Hey guys, welcome back. Day 8 covered our journey from Pashinburi to Ubon Rajatani, dropping by Chang International Circuit along the way. Fan Shine was kind enough to ride with us and be our tour guide once again. Our day started with lunch at a nice cafe before heading the road towards Chang International Circuit. We managed to get into part of the track itself and took a few cool photos. And a few silly ones. <laughs> <laughs> After that, we headed to Baby Bon Rajatani in the rain. Go and love yourself. But if, if you think, think that I'm still holding on, on, then baby you should go and fuck yourself. <laughs> it's all being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, the singing was so bad it started raining again. We met up with Shine's friend and fellow writer who helped uh, arrange for our accommodations that night. We checked into our hotel and took a shower before heading out for dinner at a fancy restaurant to celebrate Shine's birthday which was the following week. So yeah, that's about it for day number 8. It's day 9, uh, we just woke up. We're at uh, Ubon Rajatani. Um, and uh, yeah, our hotel room was pretty good. It's uh, pretty... Affordable. Uh, it was 500 baht per night. That's oh. like twin, 20 sing dollars. So it's not. It's super. It's super within budget. So going with the team, the further we are, the cheaper it gets. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, the walls are pretty nice. It's made from like some cork material. Uh, yeah, it's. It's all our stuff, and we were awoken this morning by. Oh, come on! Yeah, by what seems to be, by what seems to be a bird park. Uh, we got in like super late yesterday night, and we didn't realize. But uh, this morning, uh, when we were awoken, look at this. Uh, so apparently there's a bird cage. Like right opposite our room, we're full of parrots. I'll get some pictures later. Uh, yep. Yeah. So that was what woke us up today. These are the pockets of our morning alarm. They are huge. I'm not sure if you can see them through the metal focus. There you go. So perspective of where our room is our room is right there right there in front and the cage is this big so yep that's how we woke up this morning thanks to these guys here's where we parted ways with shine he went home while we proceeded on towards Laos we're now here at the Thai border uh, to Laos, we have no idea what to do. We'll go to customs facilitation building and see what, see how we'll we'll get through it. Uh, you can see there's the Chongming, there's the Chongming Chongming customs house. Um, hopefully, we'll find out what we need to do to exit and come back again uh, without any problems and yep so we'll go check it out another interesting site another interesting site the uh, people are pushing chickens across the border so you see all in these boxes are poultry um you think they need passport also the chicken a video for We're here at Salau. Um, so it overlooks the Pakse area in Laos. We just crossed the border and we came here straight away. So, uh, what this thing is, it's just a really big 
Buddha statue that can be seen from down below. It, uh, yeah, so Shine recommended us to come here and watch the sunset. And sunset is pretty old. There. Okay, there's the sun, and it's a pretty nice view right here. Yep, so this is where we'll be spending like an hour or so. Wait for the sun to go down, and then we'll head back down and look for the hotel. See ya. The ride up to Pusalao was pretty fun, although I didn't record any of it. But here's a clip from Nick Cena 20C. Hope you enjoy. And we are, we just split up from Drell. Uh, we're going up Pusala, we finally found it. There are a bunch of people running away from me, as you can see. We wanted to catch the sunset, but the sun is setting. It's 3.5 km up. I don't know if bikes are allowed, but I asked uh, if Pusala is straight, and they said yes. I guess bikes are allowed since there are bikes coming on the other side of the road we just have to watch for people and there's a more than 180 degree corner and I can't see shit because the sun is in my eyes and I think we're just connected back to Joel Joel nope he's not there uh, we're going up fucking shit in the middle of the road let's hope Let's hope Joel is still on the road and not in a ditch somewhere. Ooh, I like these roads. Much better than the others that I've seen in Laos. Ooh, shit, looking wrongly. Joel! Uh, yeah, so we're going up Pusalao. We finally found it. I hope the irritating beeps are not being recorded. Uh, my ears just popped, but I don't think we actually went up that far. These people are crazy, man. Who the hell runs up this shit? I wouldn't even crawl up. Ever wonder why I'm so fat? This is why. Well, that's why I got a KTM 1290 Super Adventure. So I don't have to walk anywhere. Wow, drive is really quick. If it's... It yeah, is been, oh, I finally caught up with you. Okay, actually, you're not that quick then. I'm waiting. I'm what? like going very slowly. I'm enjoying the curves like hell, man. These are uh, awesome, yeah. right? This is the type I like. Ah, uh, there you are. And that's draw out. So, ow. Nicola, Nicola is here. And Nick is hiding the corners on the brakes. He's gonna overtake that dickhead in the 400cc G by 400X. He's tailgating the 400 dickhead X. And the 400X is going down the ditch. He survives the ditch. <laughs> I enjoy this. I'm glad we found Pulse Alao. Do you, do you see a cyclist just now? What cyclist? The There's one that was cyclist. Settling here, he was spelling. Then I just gave you a mad thumbs up. <laughs> Crazy cop! Oh, we are here! We have reached! Woo! Wow. So this pretty much concludes our day number 9. Uh, we're still not sure how to get back to Singapore because there's a flood warning in uh, South Thailand again. Yep. <laughs> well, Nick's being a douche, as usual. Yep. Uh, good night. Spot mode!